Good morning guys, welcome back to the Sullivan family. So it is Sunday, it is our wedding anniversary today. So we have been married 18 years today, which is a long time. Um, two years off our 20th, which is something to be proud of. Um, yeah, so it's Sunday. We don't have any big spectacular plans for the day or anything like that, to be honest. Um, we're not, we kind of don't overly celebrate our wedding anniversary because we just, we just don't. Uh, maybe one day we will, maybe we'll do something special for our 20th. Um, who knows? Obviously it's still a special day, but we just tend to just spend it together anyway. So um, yeah, 18 years today. So plans for today. I'm gonna clean the bathroom. So after yesterday's whole saga of the drain and all of that, we got the drains um, unblocked. Somebody came out to unblock the drains. There is a problem with the drains outside. Uh, we are the end of the street, obviously. So there is the, the way that the drain goes under the ground is like a U-bend under the ground, which obviously creates a natural kind of block, which isn't great, but they were blocked anyway. So we've had issues ever since we've moved in, but it's not been overly bad. Just, you know, the toilet rises a bit more than normal until obviously yesterday when everything, water came out of everywhere. So luckily that's all got sorted. Um, yeah, then, so obviously you would have seen Ben taking the sides of the trampoline yesterday. Um, now, obviously, when we were in Lossie, we didn't have any sides on a trampoline um, for about, I don't know how many years, about eight years, we didn't have any sides on the trampoline. But when we moved, we got a new one in Lossie, so that, that one had sides. Before that, we didn't. So obviously moved here, put the new trampoline up again, had sides, took the sides off for the winter because we we're expecting um, storms and stuff like that. So we always try and everybody takes their sides off because the wind can be wild especially living right on the coast you know we're, we're expecting kind of wild weather during the winter so we took the sides off for winter said to the kids be really careful on the trampoline little ones try and stay off the trampoline with no sides on what happens joseph fell off the trampoline so literally turned our backs so after tea turned her back for two seconds he fell off um he's landed on his elbow and I spent another Saturday night in A&E last night so obviously the weekend before was with Noah who broke his wrist um, on falling on the ice last night I was in A&E with Joseph because he has um, a fracture in his elbow so um, obviously it swelled up to like twice its size and bruised almost immediately. We took him in and I mean, that was a bit of, a, it was a trauma in itself, obviously with the issues that he has, I mean, getting him in the car just to go to the doctors was a nightmare. Um, and I wouldn't have taken him had I not thought that he's broken something. Um, but he he definitely needed to go and get it sort of seen to. Um, he wouldn't take any pain uh, medication because he hates taking medicine. Um, so it was more traumatic trying to get medicine in him than leaving him without. So anyway, we went up to A&E. It was actually, we actually got seen quite quickly. There was, although there was a lot of ambulances outside and they were really, really busy. There wasn't actually many people waiting in the waiting room. So we did get through quite quickly. Um, basically what they've said is that he has a fracture in his elbow um they put it in a sling and have told us that we'll hear from the fracture clinic at some point tomorrow um it was all a bit vague to be honest um i didn't kind of come away feeling all that confident um we well, luckily ben knows first aid and all that sort of stuff so he's put it in a nice tight sling because the doctor kind of said make sure he doesn't bend his elbow, make sure he keeps his elbow across his um, across his himself like that. But obviously he's five and I mean, he can't move his arm. So, you know, he's not gonna try and um, move it because it hurts to move. But Ben's put it in a nice tight sling um, for him. Because I don't actually know how to do a sling. I really ought to, I, every time something like this happens, I think 
I really ought to do a first aid course um, because there's things that I don't I don't know that I should feel I should know as a parent. Um, it's almost like you know when you become a parent that you you have to do a first aid course because there's so many things you just don't. I know basics, but not you know I wouldn't know how to put a sling on. I could probably work it out, but Ben's done done it in a nice tight sling. I mean, last night we got back probably about eight o'clock, um, and he was just so tired that we just put him to bed in his t-shirt. Really, um, we didn't try and get his t-shirt off or anything like that. We just put him to bed as he was. Taking it off this morning to get him washed and get his t-shirt changed. That was a bit traumatic. But we've put the sling back on, secured it again, um, and hopefully we'll get a phone call to kind of tell us what to do next, really. I've kind of left feeling a little bit like I, I don't really know what we, you know, should be doing. Um, it was all a little bit vague. But anyway, um, hopefully we'll be able to find out more tomorrow. He's happy for the minute. Um, I've actually managed to put some carpool in his juice um, and he has drunk it. Uh, so hopefully, I know it's probably not as effective, but it's something. So he's on the sofa at the moment. He's happy. He's happy as long as he's not moving his arm. So it's, it's only if he tries to move it that he's in pain. Unfortunately, Joseph is not very good at associating, um, understanding his feelings. So like he doesn't understand that he's hot or cold he just knows there's something wrong so like he could get he's been in the summer with a coat on and he's like come in sweating but um he doesn't understand that he's sweating because he's hot and he needs to take his coat off and i know that some of that is age related but equally he doesn't always know if he gets really cold he doesn't understand that it's the cold that's making him upset he just gets upset and then doesn't understand that it's because it's cold Mommy. yes darling yeah. okay I come and clean you up in just a second, okay? Um, yeah, so he doesn't always associate feelings very well, so he's not very... I tried to explain to the doctor last night that he doesn't always understand that he's in pain as such. Um, he doesn't associate things quite correctly. And like I said, some of that is age-related, some of it is, um, is, is not, basically. But anyway, we got through last night, we got him home. He actually slept okay. Um, and today he's just resting. We were thinking of going swimming today um, with everybody, but obviously that's out the window now because of Noah's wrist and his elbow. So of course we feel terrible because, I mean, I know accidents happen and accidents do happen. And you know, we've had a trampoline for, for years and I think we've only ever had touch wood one accident on the trampoline, which was Charlotte years and years ago, cut a leg on one of the um, uh, sides. Since then, um, and like I said, we had a trampoline with no sides for years. Nobody ever fell off it. And you kind of take it for granted because there was you know, no accidents. Then we got what a new one with sides and, you know, happy, everyone's happy. As soon as you take it off, somebody falls off. And you just think, you just feel terrible. Feel terrible because, you know, it's the two minutes that your back is turned or you're not watching or something like that, that an accident happens and you think, you know, we're both like, we, sh we should have seen him, we should have, you know, anyway, I know accidents happen, um, but it, you know, you just feel terrible, don't you? You feel like you should have, it's just one of those things, it's part of, it just, it's horrible, isn't it, when there's an accident. Hang on to sex. So anyway, um, today, he's resting, um, watching a film, the girls are, sitting with him and just playing. Ben has just nipped to the tip. He's gonna be back in a minute. The baby is sleeping um, and the older ones are kind of milling around in between. So I'm gonna go and spend an hour cleaning the bathroom, doing a little bit more in there. And I think this afternoon, Lizzie's going to work this afternoon. So we might all take a drive through to Lossie and get an ice cream. I think that's the plan. Wake me up, I'm getting tired of sleep Think I've had enough I've been gone but haven't done the spiel It's pretty clear to me Kinda strange I can take a beat From my better self It's like no one else even really Scratches the surface Cause nobody gets Nobody gets me I'm looking for faith Looking for love in every direction I'm looking for something
morning guys how are you all doing honestly how things can change in a heartbeat all the plans that you had how you how your plans just go out of the window i can't honestly i can't believe joseph had his accident yesterday and now he's hurt himself as well um i know that zoe has already explained to you what's going on with that um i guess, I guess we're just waiting for uh potentially for him to go and see the fracture clinic tomorrow um and uh see where we are but it, it's pretty swollen his elbow to be fair it's pretty swollen oh honestly kids kids they're so accident prone aren't they anyway right what have i done this morning so i have done the tip run the tip run is done i'll just show you i've taken i've actually got i've managed, I've managed to get rid of some of the stuff in my shed i managed to get rid of everything around the seating area again so that's all gone so that's brilliant if i need to book another tip run for next week in fact i probably will book a tip run for next week um just in case we get any more stuff that we need to get rid of i know there's a few there's a few more bits in the shed actually that i need to get rid of so yeah let's book another tip run for next week and then we'll see where we are next sunday uh to see if we need to book any more tip runs but yeah it's good so so we've got rid of all that all, all that waste cardboard is all gone our old units have gone that were in the lounge. They, they fell to bits, to be honest, as soon as I, I put them in the uh, wood recycling and they fell to pieces. Um, yeah, it'd be nice to, like I said to you yesterday, it'd be nice to get the trampoline stuff in the shed as well. So if I can get rid of a few more bits next week, that'll free up space again. Maybe I'll have another little sort out of the shed. This is all kind of preparations for winter, like I said, like I said to you yesterday. Preparation for winter. Gonna have to be careful with the trampoline, obviously. Um, because now there's no surrounds on it so i've had a bit of a chat with the little ones um yeah we'll see where we go with that one um what else was i going to say oh yeah so i've also sorted out the car seats this morning so i came back from came back from the tip run with the, with eva and toby and i've just changed the seats around in both cars because i'm taking zoe's car to work with me tomorrow because that's going to arnold clark to go into the garage to get a sensor changed um because we had an issue with the engine um, a couple of weeks ago now, but um, there's a sensor to change on the exhaust pipe. I knew, I knew it'd be a sensor. It, it, if, if your sensor stops getting blocked and stuff, it just pops up, pings up. Oh my God, your engine's gonna die. You know, go get it checked. But um, yeah, so they're gonna change that. And they're gonna change part of the exhaust as well. because so I think it's seized. So that's tomorrow. So, so the seats have been changed around. Um, what else have I been doing this morning? I think that part, aside from me and Zoe having a catch up, getting Joseph sorted, cause, because he's, we have to be very careful. Like, so we, we got him washed and changed this morning and changed his t-shirt and everything. And uh, it, it's very painful, his arms. We're having to be super careful with, what we, with, with moving his arm and that. But he seems to be okay with the sling on. So um, the old first aid training paid off. That's all I'm gonna say on that one. Years of first aid training in the Air Force. So um, yeah, it's about half past 11 now. Um, I've caught up with all the jobs that I wanted to get done this morning. I think this afternoon we're possibly going to get an ice cream because it's our anniversary. Happy anniversary, us. 18 years of marriage. I can't believe how quickly it goes, honestly, how quickly it goes. Um, and how 
it, how things have just changed and we were talking about this morning you know i mean me and zoe are, are fortunate in that we've got the same ambitions the same goals we always wanted to have a huge family we want um we want a nicer you know a nice house and a nice place to live and all the all the good stuff that everybody else wants as well you know so we've got the same goals and the same ambitions so we're really lucky from that perspective and um it just means that we've got a solid relationship and yeah i'm really proud of it to be honest i'm really proud of it you know it's, it's you have to work at these things and work hard don't you and make sure you make sure you talk to each other and make sure you're both all right and that's the clue isn't it that's the trick make sure you talk to each other make sure you're all you're okay that's top tip top tip so uh, i'm gonna go in now because it's half past 11 um i've got a couple of things to do and then it's gonna be lunch time and then after lunch um we'll see what's what i've got to talk to zoe a minute because she's she's smashing on with the uh downstairs loose she's doing a really good job actually she's doing a really really good job um so it's gonna look nice now when it's finished right guys that's my little catch up so i'll get i'll get you now after lunch okay so i finished cleaning i didn't actually think i'd get it finished today but i have so i've finished cleaning pretty much haven't done the floor because obviously we need to paint so we've got some bathroom paint which has gone for white and got some gloss paint all the way around gloss paint for the door frames and stuff we've also got these to put over the tiles on the back of the sink there's only a couple um, but i'm gonna put them together and cut them just just to cover that bit so we're going to paint next um i'm going to paint the ceiling as well but it's all it's all cleaned um the drains have been sorted out the toilet's been sorted out uh and i've given everything a nice shiny clean so that's done i'm glad that that's done so um yeah all we need to do now is paint um so we've had lunch i'm just gonna go and get changed because i'm in cleaning clothes and i've just noticed that i think it's raining oh no maybe not um yeah so i'm gonna go and get changed and then we're gonna head out to get ice cream Cross over them. We're all good. We're all good. Pig. Did you? Pigs. No way. I saw sheep. Do you remember? Did you see sheep? Did you? I saw sheep. In fact, I saw a lot of sheep because I think they were getting herded up. There's lots and lots. What ice cream are you? Are you getting a sorbet? Yeah, I'm getting a lemon. Lemon sorbet. Okay. All right. Joseph, are you getting an ice cream? Yeah. Good boy. I want to 
Guess what? I want. Which one are you? Which doing? which flavour are you having, Aaron? I'm getting cotton candy. Cotton candy. What? That looks nice, that. What are you getting, Leah? Uh, the chocolate. Chocolate. What are you getting, Flo? She's getting chocolate. She. Isabel. 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 Not a choice today. Isabel. I'm getting the um cotton candy one. Who's going? Sort of Florence. Joseph, what are you getting? Strawberry. Strawberry? Strawberry. Are you getting a strawberry tub? No. Daddy, I'm getting Yeah, you're getting your sorbet. Yeah. Sorbet is nice. Hey, thank you. I don't really know how to make ice cream. Um, are you want a tub or a cone? A tub. A tub. Can I just get a lemon sorbet tub? Can Leah get a chocolate cone, please? Yeah. Chocolate cone. Please. 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 Is that mine? Yeah, hold a few lemonade sprays. Is that mine? Would you like to get a spray? No, no, I don't know. Would you like to get a spray? No, no, I don't know. Wait, can I dip it in there? 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 Wait, she's doing big things. You say we had a bad romance, but baby, you keep stealing dances. Keep cutting in like you own me, then sudden throw me away mm -hmm. You say we never had a chance But you keep throwing me these glances Looking like you want me right now But just like lightning you're gone Yeah, you're gone Okay, guys, we're back. We're back home. That was nice. A bit windy. My hair's a bit windswept. You look. You did look windswept. Plus the fact that I couldn't find a hair brush this morning. I've got about twenty thousand in the house, but I couldn't find one. There is a lot of hair brushes. Mm. Where are there they? There's a lot. So have you had a nice day? Uh huh. It's been a weird day today. I normally do quite a lot more vlogging than I than I did to be honest. Um, but I just don't know what's happened today. I really don't know. But uh, it's been a nice day. 
we did a tip run this morning. You've got Zoe's got loads done in the bathroom downstairs. I'm you've quite got, impressed actually, yeah, in the short space of time that you've had, how much you've got done. No. Yeah, we've got the paint, so yeah. that'll be another vlog. That'll be a DIY paint it yourself at home vlog, won't it? I think we might have to do it in the evenings. I might have to Are do we? It in the evenings. Okay, it's an evening job. Yeah, um, Mealy's ice cream, always a favourite. Brilliant, love that place in Lossy Mouth. Thank you, Mealy's. Always do a nice, a nice ice cream. Although I had a coffee today, I didn't have an ice cream. I had my cream. I had a coffee. I had my cream. A cappuccino. You. you did. Um, Joseph seems to be a lot chirpier. Um, he's as as still got his arm. Yeah, he's still got his arm in a sling. He's fine um, as long as you don't touch his arm, or as long as he doesn't knock his arm. I think having it. In a sling is helping, Yeah, I've, I've taped it up quite a lot as well, so it won't move. Um, because I'm worried that if... Well, I'm, we think it is broken, don't we? Well, they said it once, They said it was broken, but we're waiting to hear back from... Wait, who's that? Toby. Toby. Um, obviously from the fracture clinic to find out what they want to do next. For the heads Just up. Trying to keep it as still as we can in the meantime because we don't really know what else we're supposed to i'm really hoping that this time next week this we haven't got number three going on because i don't i don't know what's happening it's been like a couple of weeks of accident prone children hasn't it i'm pretty sure i've just realized i'm wearing somebody else's bracelet i'm pretty sure this happened once before and like three different weeks i ended up in a and e with three different children and i remember thinking i can't i can't go to a and e again and I can't remember, I can't remember, I think it was Isabel hurt her wrist, Eva hurt her wrist, she tripped over your foot. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. Oh, and gotcha. somebody else did something. The problem but is, the, time, the problem is you try and keep your kids safe all the time. You've got eyes in the back of your head, but sometimes you don't have eyes in the back of your head. And that split second is when accident ha accidents happen, isn't it? You know, yeah, you're every time. you're busy sorting something else out. You've turned, you've turned your back for two seconds and something happens and... Always it's just having children unfortunately just, that's you've just what happens got eyes everywhere haven't you but yeah just sometimes you just you still miss things and they're also like kamikaze pilots sometimes aren't they yeah just... if i jump down there i wonder if i can roll bless him he was so brave at the hospital though because it wasn't it wasn't easy for him no um because he doesn't like situations like that at all and you know they do stress him out quite a lot but he was he was really good until he tried to touch his arm um yeah but i've got the car sorted out now um ready for tomorrow because your car's got to go in to get sorted out and i said that earlier and you're going to be using the zafira aren't you my car tomorrow um so that's all sorted we'll have to see what happens we haven't had a we have not had a phone call from the fracture, cl fracture clinic yet but if we do then we'll have to sort something else out um i'm assuming it'll be tomorrow because obviously yeah. today is sunday and i'm I guess they're not. I guess it's a Monday to Friday thing. Yeah. So I'm hoping that we'll. Because I'm a bit. Um... You all right? Can I go in the microwave? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, Isabel starting the tea off. I'm a Bless bit, her. I'm kind of a bit like I don't know what to to do next for him. Do you know what I mean? I'm not a doctor, and we haven't really been given any further instructions. Instruction as to what other than keep his arm still and in the sling. Um, yeah, but if we don't get a phone call back, then we're going to the GP, and then we'll go. To that. We'll have to go that way, won't we? Yeah, okay, so. I don't. Mm. But there we go. That's that. We we will keep you informed on what's going on with Joseph. We'll keep you up to speed and Noah as well. Noah and his arm. Yeah, he's um, still getting quite a lot. He's still, of he's still quite a lot of pain. Not, so we're, not, gonna have to well. we're gonna have to question that as well. We're gonna have to question that. I'm a bit concerned because he is. I mean, I mean, there was there wasn't broken, and then it was broken, and. But it's only got to be in a splint. It was that was kind of a bit vague as well, wasn't it? And uh, yeah. I'm a bit. He's still in quite a lot of pain with his wrist, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Um. Tom's. I'm a bit. I know it's only been a week. But yeah, um, still a little we'll have bit to chase that up, won't we? Wrist. We'll see. Maybe see how it is in another week. Yeah. And um, give it Ooh. give Ooh. it another week and see see what it's like then. Yeah. So married for eighteen years. So for those of you that don't know, 18 years ago today, Zoe and I got married in the Green Bank. Or we got married in Camborne Church first, didn't we? Yep. This is a Marriott Church, isn't it? Oh. Is it a Marriott? Yes, it is, isn't it? 
Well, it's Camborne Church anyway. So we were married by Olive, weren't we, in Camborne Church. Um, hi, Olive, if you're watching. Who also christened? A third of the kids? Yeah. A third of the kids. Uh, and then... I'm trying to work that out. <laughs> and then we went on from there to the Green Bank Hotel in Falmouth, which is on the front there, in the, on the harbour, isn't it? And that was really, really nice. And it was a sunny day um, for those of you that, that were there. I think it rained in the evening. Did it? I think so. I can't remember. It's a beautiful place, though, the Green Bank. Yeah. We had a really lovely function room, didn't we? And it had we a balcony did. out the back. It was a really lovely... Um, it's a really lovely hotel. I'd like to go back there one day. Yeah. I'd like to go back there and... And stay. Redo the photos, but this time with 12 children. Yeah. Redo the photos, but this yeah. time with all of them. That'd be nice. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, well, and yeah. then, you know, the rest is history. So um, we we lived in, well, we lived in Camborne for a bit, didn't we? And then we lived in Newquay. Oh, God, where haven't we lived? Then we lived in Newquay. Then we moved to North Wales, to Anglesey. And then we moved to Benson in Oxfordshire. Then we moved back down to Cornwall. Then we moved back to Benson. We moved twice in Wales as well. Oh, yeah, we did, didn't we? Uh -huh. Yes. And then we moved on to to here, to Lossie. And now to Burkhead. So uh, we like moving, don't we? No, we just have moved And around in amongst all of that are 12 children, uh, a YouTube channel, uh, three TV appearances. So we did Channel 5, ITV and BBC Scotland, BBC Scotland as well. Which is still on the iPlayer. If you if you go onto BBC Scotland iPlayer, you'll find um, okay. uh, Scotland's biggest. Is it still on the iPlayer? I think I think it is. Oh. Last time I looked, I might be wrong, but last time I looked, so yeah, uh, Scotland's biggest families. Are you right there? She dropped her fidget spinner. <laughs> so I dropped the baby standing. Um, but yeah, so it's been um, it's gone quick, hasn't it? What eighteen years? Has gone quite quick, really, it's isn't like it? It's quite scary how quickly it goes. It's mad, isn't it? Because you know, when you say when you first get married and you think eighteen years, Lizzie was just a baby. Obviously, she was only what five months old when we got married. Yeah, six months old. Five months old. Um, and you think eighteen years, and then all of a sudden you've done eighteen years, and you think, oh, okay, that didn't go as slow as I thought. <laughs> she went really fast. Imagine another day, eighteen years. Probably have about. 10,000 YouTube videos on YouTube, something like that. Probably quite a lot of grandchildren as well. Probably a lot of grand. Yes, imagine that. Because if they all have two children each, that's 24 grandchildren. What if they have like 12 children each? I can't even work that out. It's too late to work that out. It's just too late to work that out. Yeah. Be a great family photo though, wouldn't it? We'll have to just... take it from a drone. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, guys, that's it for today and the weekend vlogs. Uh, we've got the usual uh, shopping hall. I can't remember what's, what we called it then. The shopping hall tomorrow, the Asda and Tesco shopping hall. Uh, and then I'm pretty sure Zoe will give you an update in the week or we'll try and do another vlog in the week as well to keep to keep you up to speed with what we're up to. Uh, but for now, that's it. So um, thank you very much, guys, for watching. Thank you for supporting us. Please subscribe to our channel, guys. Please hit... Please, please subscribe to our channel because we'd love to boost our numbers. Please hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss anything. You always get notified of everything we put on and that includes the community feed as well. Uh, what else would I want to say? Don't forget our link tree in the video description below for all of our social media, Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. And that just leaves me to say thanks for your support, guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next video. Bye!